I'm here today to talk to you about an advance in science. It's one of the type of advances that occurs only once or twice in a century. Uh, science is the handmaiden of mankind. It is our role as scientists to provide benefits to mankind. And in this situation today, in this century, the 10th year of this century, I can tell you that we have an innovation from science that will be of uh, unimaginable benefit to your population. We now have a means of preventing two of the worst cancers uh, known to man and among the most prevalent. Cancer of the breast, adenocarcinoma of the uh, ducts of the breast and the lobes of the breast, and cancer of the colon. These two uh, diseases are among the top cancers in your nation as they are in the world. And I will announce to you today that they can be virtually eradicated with vitamin D and calcium. This discovery has uh, occurred over a period of 30 years 80 years since the initial discovery of vitamin D, and 178 years since the discovery of the role of uh, sunlight and ultraviolet B in the prevention of disease. And it's quite simple. If we can maintain the serum level of 25-hydroxyvitamin D at 40 to 60 nanograms per ml, or 100 to 150 nanomoles per liter, you can eliminate almost all colon and breast cancer in your nation. And you can do it within the next few years, probably during your tenure in office. It happens quickly. It is done easily with extremely small expense. It requires only universal testing of the population for serum 25 vitamin D levels, a very easy, very clear-cut test, and providing enough care on the part of the government to uh, allow development of levels at 40 to 60 nanograms per ml 100 to 150 nanomoles per liter, which is approximately double the average in most populations. Almost everyone in most populations is deficient in vitamin D, either because of latitude, lifestyle, pigmentation in the skin, clothing, and other factors. Now is your opportunity, during your period of office, to eliminate these scourges virtually from the face of your country's population.